Alice Blew Me Away by Breaking Benjamin. We'll get started. That was Blow Me Away by Breaking Benjamin. And uh, it's on the Halo 2 uh, soundtrack. And I'm going in a time machine a little bit for Halo 2, but that was definitely at the time the definitive theme for that particular um, video game. And as a fan of the game and a fan of the genre, I love it. So we'll get started with the song, which was definitely the, the Kickstarter, so to speak, of that uh, particular game. So um, let's get started with the intro. The main melody is going to be G, C, and G, C. Now you can play this as a major, a C major, but also there's varying degrees where it goes down a half step to minor as well. And that's later on, as I'll, I'll show you, but essentially C, G, C, and G, C. That's the guitar riff. So we have C, G, C in the right. And we hit this bass note of C, G, C twice. All right, we got that. So C, G, C. And the rhythm is a little bit, uh, a little bit of a delayed effect on the right hand. So after I hit the pel uh, the uh, chords in the left hand and have the right hand respond and then that bass line we all know and love it's going to be G B flat C now I'm adding an octave to make it more dynamic or more robust I should say so we have G B flat C so from the top response is going to be the walk down of E flat, D, and C. So that's the bass line when it's all said and done. So one more time real quick. And then we're going over into the uh, verse section, the verse bars, so to speak. So, without adding in the right hand, the bass line is simply G, B flat, C, and then E flat, D, and C. So, if you remember earlier, I said essentially we're going to have a variation between a C major, C, E, G, and then C minor. And again, that's a completion that walk down of the bass is E flat, D, and C. Again, a continuation. So, the chord structure of this song is very unique and very pretty. So you're going to have little nuances like that that are going to continue throughout the song. And one more time as a review from the top, just the intro bars, and then we go over into the verse section. going over to the verse section. Now the verse section, uh, I'll play out, play it out for you, and then once we go into the verse section, we easily roll into the pre-chorus, and then we go into the main chorus. So the pre-chorus and the verse will be pretty easy to go through, and then we're going to go down to the chorus for the main hook of the song. From the top. Okay, so the verse chords are as follows. We have C, C, G, G, C, G, C, E major ninth, or E major seventh, E flat, E flat, G, B flat, and D. Now you can go reposition if you, des so, uh, if you desire to do so. But it gives a nice top voicing by going to E flat major ninth. And these are all mostly root position chords. So you have E flat major seventh, 
and then we have B flat major, B flat, B flat, F, B flat, and D, root position. Okay, those are the chords. Then we go back to uh, from the top, from the time you have C, E flat, B flat. Okay, then we walk down to C, C, and then back to the E flat major seven. Now in this case, on the final come around for the B flat major chord, I make it a ninth, which is essentially B flat, B flat, F and C instead of D. And give it a little bit of a distinct flavor. So you have F and C and B flat major ninth, or a sus two, if some people want to think of it that way. So from the top we have C, E flat, B flat major, then we bound to C, C, E flat, and then B flat nine. One more time. Okay, now. You can add a little bit of rhythm and play with the, the chords because they're open chords, open chord structure, or open voicings. You can play a lot with it uh, to try to imitate what you hear in the, in the track of the guitar. So having that ninth up there lets you walk into the A flat major pre-chorus. So as I was saying with the improv, um, the groove feels very familiar to me because there's a lot of songs with that particular progression in E flat or C minor. And I'm going off a little bit of a tangent here, but it's important with this song you can improv and essentially an unlimited number of ways. You can play it in any style that you want to. But we'll focus on the rock style, the rock genre. But it has a little, actually strong credence or credence to R&B style of piano, which I enjoy immensely. So you can play it with a kind of a church feel to it. kind of slow down the rhythm a little bit and play around with it but getting back on track so we have the B flat major 9 we have the A flat major 7 now I'm playing a little bit slow uh, because I don't have a distortion that that guitar does in the track so A flat major seventh, and you have B flat major right here. B flat, B flat, F, B flat, and D. A flat major seventh, A flat, C, E flat, and G. B flat major, and then C, G, C. pre-chorus down and let's do the pre-chorus real quick into the chorus. Was 
the chorus. <clears throat> so the chorus is very much like the pre-chorus. And you have the A flat, the B flat to C. Now what's different, as I said, that little nuance between the C major and C minor comes into play all throughout the song. So we're going to be walking. That's the main melodic section of the chorus. For E, F, G, A flat, G, F, E. You're going to walk all up and down that particular section of the of the uh, E A flat progression. E F G A flat G F E into G. Okay, so as we walk up, each chord change is going to be rely on the right hand pattern. So very quick, quickly, I'll break it down. Okay, so what I did with that, the chorus, I played it very slowly, but essentially when we have our A flat major, that's the top of the bar, the little nuances is that you have the A flat, that's a chord change, and then the G corresponds with the other chord change. So as I walk down the scale, for the bass line, we have B, and then C. So B flat goes with G, or resolves on G, and G goes with C. And a little walk between is E, F, G, A flat, G, chords go exactly with the right hand pattern for the chorus and then after we play that we end up right in perfect position what we learned earlier and then we shift our right hand up to play the melody to the guitar solo.
the main guitar riff that we hear at the end, or the main uh, the guitar solo, uh, it's a little interesting. It's actually quite interesting. And again, E flat is coming up in this case, so I'll play it real slow. I play an octave of this if you have trouble playing that particular aspect of the of the song, and we can go over some of the scales. You can uh, look at some of the scale videos I do have available that will help you uh, play some scales with efficiency and accuracy. But let's get started with the actual scale. So at, uh, at this closer inspection we have C, G, C sharp, C, G, E flat, D, and E flat. Let's call this just D flat, make it easier for you. C, G, D flat, C, G, E flat, D, and E flat. We play that, play that both hands. <clears throat> So that's the first half of the riff. And then we walk up to C, G, and then we go to C, or D flat and C. And then we start from the G to continue that riff, or second half of the riff. So let's start that all over again real quick. C, G, S, D flat, C, G, E flat, D flat, E flat, then back to C. C, G, D flat, C, G, E flat, D, E flat, C, G, D flat, C, G, E flat, D, and E flat. And as you get more experience with this particular uh, phrase of music, you can play it a lot faster. I am playing it slow so that everyone will be able to catch the keys of the notes that I'm playing. And then after we play that, we uh, go up to C, G, D flat, C. And then we stop and pause a little bit. And then G, uh, D flat to C. G, D flat, C. G, D flat, C, G, D flat, C, and then we have D flat major, D flat, D flat, D flat, A flat, and D flat to B flat major. And then we play the riff again of G, D flat, C, G, D flat, C, G, D flat, C, D flat and F or B flat major and then we have the riff that's heavy staccato which is C G C G C and then we have D flat major D flat D flat A flat and D flat back to the chorus that we learned earlier. Okay. And that's the riff for the main section at the end of the song. The uh, guitar solo. And that is also the outro for Blow Me Away. Breaking Benjamin.